Welcome back in Singapore for a second daily video report. And for today, we will focus on new innovative products showcased by foreign companies, such as this beautiful bird coming from China. I'm from Sichuan, Chengdu, and our company name is Star UVA System Company Limited. And our company is specialized in large-scale cargo UVA, and not just the production, but uh, also the research, development, and operation of the big-scale cargo UVA. Uh, we call this aircraft Star Shadow, and this is a prototype where already uh, like is developing this one, and this is the stills and uh, high latitude uh, aircraft. We kind of develop this aircraft with a Chinese uh, institution. And this engine is developed by a sister company of Star. And this engine is specialized for the uh, high latitude environment, which they can operate really good in that kind of environment. And it's a turbine fan engine. As a company just specialized in produce large-scale UVA, we just provide our customer with this steels platform. As to what they want to do with the platform, it's their decision. This A2200 is specially development for civilized purpose, and it's developed for the uh, express industry. And we already see the model of AT200 and Zhuhai Air Show two years ago, and last year, October 2017, we developed this AT200, specializing, you know, transfer the cargo from big city to small city, which is the regional fly. And um, after this year, we're going to develop more about this. And in the end of this year, we're going to have a kind of loaded test. And then we're going to cooperate with the CASA to get the airworthiness certificate afterwards. This airplane will be first applied and used by s phone Express in China. And the reason we go to here is because this is Southeast, Southeast countries. And like Indonesia, they had, it's a multi-island countries. So this airplane could provide them the, the service they need. I would say as a global leader in the defense industry, it's absolutely critical for Orbital ATK to be here so we can talk to our partners in Asia to find out what their defense needs, what their defense requirements are, uh, so that we understand and, and know how to meet those needs for our customers here. PAWS is our palletized weapon system. It consists of a 30 millimeter uh, cannon, which is designed to go on an aircraft on a pallet along with the mission system operator's kit. Uh, the mission system operator station has, as you see, anywhere from one to three consoles. It also has a computer system uh, with an integrated fire control system for the aircraft. Um, PAWS is, is a standalone weapon system that can convert any cargo aircraft into a fully operational gunship. Uh, we usually say within one to two hours, uh, it can go from a cargo aircraft to a gunship. We do have potential customers. Uh, what I can say now, our, our interest is coming from our partners in Europe uh, and, and some as well in, in Africa. The Eliminator is our light attack aircraft that's based on the Cessna Caravan 208. Um, I, I will say that the Eliminator configuration of this aircraft is, is one of a kind. Uh, we are the only ones that produce this specific aircraft. Um, the Eliminator, what makes it special is its ability to fire both Hellfires and rockets interchangeably. Uh, so you can have dual Hellfires on each wing, you can have rockets on each wing, or you can have a mixture of rockets and Hellfire missiles on that wing, or on the wings. It also comes with the same uh, fire control system that we use in PAWS. Uh, however, this aircraft is in use in several Middle Eastern countries right now, uh, one of which has fired over 3,000 Hellfire missiles 
uh, from this platform. So it's doing incredibly well in combat right now. I'm Philip Fraha. I am CEO for the company Unmanned. And what we do is uh, the certification um, of manned and unmanned aircraft avionics. So the avionics of a UAV are for large UAVs and for any manned aircraft requires certification with authorities, EASA, FAA, and we've completely automated that process. And so the automation of that process allows us to make custom avionics quickly and efficiently, and that's really what we bring to the market. A customer um, that wants to sell in Europe uh, has to comply with the EASA rules. So they have 20 years of experience of flying UAVs, but they have to take away the legacy systems, replace them now with certifiable systems. So they come to us and we basically add, make the next generation ground cockpit uh, for, for UAVs and for some UAVs also uh, uh, selected instruments on board. Um, so from their point of view, it's really uh, the question of how can they make a cost effective transition from the way it was done before where the military had exempt, exemptions um, to today where they need to fly in non-segregated airspace uh, with the other aircraft. So it's our first, uh, first uh, attendance here in Singapore. Uh, we've had um, a great response, um, lots of new contacts and we're pretty optimistic about the, uh, the Asian market and, and our abilities there. My name is Vincenzo Feltra, I'm the Technical Director of the Collective Wisdom Technology, which is a company based in China, in Zhuhai, and was created two years ago with the objective to develop the new and the most advanced UAV from small size to big size. The, the, the product you see here, it's uh, the small Spider 103, which is a, a 65 kilos UAV with a capacity uh, of uh, 9 kilos payload and uh, it is a range of 50 kilometers, limited by the data transmission data link and with uh, our endurance of two hours. Okay. Uh, it utilizes the best technology we can find today in the market, uh, from uh, autopilot and from uh, mechanics. And uh, you see, is a dual coaxial rotor. And uh, this uh, uh, helicopter we already tested uh, at least uh, for 20 hours. And now we are going to complete the flight test and delivery in the next summer. This is the G250 helicopter designed and manufactured in Italy and uh, now we, we have a joint venture with the Collective Wisdom where we intend to produce in China, assemble in China and uh, the, for the, all the Asian market. Uh, this helicopter is uh, 650 kilos max takeoff weight, is uh, then an ultralight helicopter and is very good for uh, uh, training and for personal uh, utilization. The helicopter um, is uh, approved by uh, the Aeroclub, Italian Aeroclub, since it's a neutral light helicopter. And it's, uh, the range is 450 kilometers. It can fly three hours and uh, can bring two people on board. One can be passenger or can be pilot, uh, te you know, teacher and student. Uh, we intend also in uh, very soon to start uh, modifying this helicopter as a UAV.